What is going on, guys? I am Eric Johnson, and I'm with RBM. Yes, it's about damn time for the return we of the Bellator series. Hooray! And today I figured, we'll... I had him, sorry? And we're going to be saying it. Rory McDonald, I assume, right? Yes, Rory McDonald will be defending his championship against Michael Shisa. And then we have other fights. We also have Shlomenko and Schilling. Jake Hager will be on this card, fighting James Mulherin. And here we go. Welcome to Blur Cats pre-show analysis of Bellator 222. McDonald being held in California. This will be the third Bellator show of 2020. And we're due to have five plus four preliminary, preliminary bouts. The main event is 25, Rory McDonald taking on Michael Shisa, 14 and 5. Uh, Bellator is number 23. He is officially ranked in Bellator. Jake Hager coming off a unanimous decision winning against Cody East at 215. Congo and Emelian Anka, where they both magically retired. Uh, Bellator's number 18 ranked middleweight Joe Stitch him Up Schilling, who stopped Romero Cotton at 218 in his last fight. And I'm not going to read the rest. Not important. Let's take a look at this main event fight. Uh, this will be McDonald's third defense. Um, he is main eventing a Bellator show for the fourth in Bellator history. Uh, yes. Uh, McDonald has McDonald. finished three of his last five opponents. Yeah. McDonald has been almost unmatched in the welterweight division so far, but an opponent that he just acquired from the UFC may prove to be a great test after his after his debut fight in Bellator coming up in a few months. That's right. As in the meantime, as in the meantime, we have Red King taking on the Maverick. This will be the first time they fought. This is the Bellator debut of Shisa, and it looks like the staff picks go seven to nothing for Rory McDonald. Okay. So he has not won in all his four years. <laughs> just, just letting you but, all know. But maybe this could all change. Maybe, and win a championship here. Uh, Shamit goes to number 13, ranked middleweight in Bellator. Schilling is number 18. Uh, Schilling, uh, lost... Well, his last loss was back in June 2015. Uh, you can tell here. Again, 7 uh, nothing for staff picks. Schilling also has a 7-inch reach advantage. However, the staff fucking says it's still 7 nothing. Shamit you bastard. As you can see, we pick our fights very fairly. Yes. Here we go. Here's a fair fight. Uh, Moharan is the number 17 ranked uh, heavyweight in Bellator. Hager will be number 23. This is the first time they have fought. Uh, Hager has a nice weight advantage. However, it's 4-3. to three, Very even, though. Or but we Mohair. will be pulling for Jake Hager. Yes, we are pulling for him. Uh, Emmanuel El Matador Sanchez will take on Juan the Spaniard Archuleta. Archuleta, okay, so you can see they have finished uh, basically, so you have Archuleta finishing four of his last five opponents, Sanchez finishing three of his last five, so you, you definitely know you have a 95% chance of getting a finish in this fight. And the picks, the stat picks is six to one, but we are getting reports that Carl got the names mixed up, so that may be the reason. <laughs> Shit, I meant to pick that Archuleta guy. Uh, no. Ah, uh, too late, Carl. First time they have also fought. Uh, Sanchez is the number three ranked featherweight. Archuleta is seven. So very high ranked competitors there. Uh, here we go. We got Mike the Monster Favala taking on that guy. Don't Mike. To say that. Mike looking like Mark Hunt's baby brother. <laughs> Mike the monster Favala. Yeah. He does kind of look like that, don't he? Yeah. 
He's also got the face. We have Dominic the Honey Badger Mazada taking on Manny Vasquez. And that's a pretty even fight there for you. Well, this is Vasquez's debut. Uh, Khalil the War Horse Run Tree taking on Mike the Turner Nader Turner. <laughs> the Turner Nader. <laughs> what is going on with the Turner Nader's head? Uh, he looks like a he looks like a Terminator. Anyway, Joaquin Queen Joaquin Buckley will take on uh, Eon Bum. Try to say that one. Uh, Bombardural. Bombardural. Sure. I think. I mean, that's about as close as we're gonna get, right? <laughs> and here we go. Finally, the last prelim is JJ Ambrose taking on Jake the Half Black Smith. I love that. And that's also. And reports are coming in that JJ Ambrose accident was cur arrested last week for stealing John Morrison's hair. <laughs> More at six. Nonetheless. Margulietta will ref the fight. Smith is also in front of a home crowd here in California, and away we go. And uh, isn't J.J. Ambrose in the home crowd too, or not? I don't think so. I mean, it's both California, right? You're reading this right, right? Yeah, but I think uh, they might be from different cities in California. I mean, you just pick a state in this game. You don't pick a city. I don't know. Yeah, but we're going by game logic. I mean, maybe we're in Anaheim, California tonight. As a matter of fact, how far is Norwalk from Anaheim? Let's take a look here. Real quick. I have no clue. I've never visited California before in my life. Me neither. I'm from the East Coast. I'll probably never get to see it. I will eventually. Um... Yeah, I'd pay attention to this fight a while while I look up this important piece of information since we are in Anaheim, we'll say it. So, basically, the gist of it is they're throwing, but they don't seem to hit each other. Oh, he is, Ambrose is on rubbery legs. And uppercut from Smith. Oh, Smith's... Uh, and uh, Ambrose loses. Smith wins. That's it? Yep. Smith, the hometown hero, wins. All right. Uh, it's about a 16-minute drive from Norwalk to Anaheim. So they're really not that far apart from each other. Honestly. So let's take a look at the metrics real quick. Um, looks like Jake Smith definitely got some more punches in. And uh, these four power punches yep. sealed the deal. Not not very, very, very self-explanatory in that fight. And it just says, thank you guys, love you all, and goodbye. Impressive, impressive showing from the young Jake Smith. Absolutely, 100%. Now, next up, we have Joaquin from St. Louis, Missouri, taking on Eon Pascu. Right, that's Indeed, I think I think we're close enough. Yes, I think that I think that's correct. I think it's Pascu. I mean, it's not as bad as Eve Levine, <laughs> but how the fuck do you get Eve out of that? Just wondering. But I digress. Oh, Pascal! That quickly, holy shit! Why does he go for the armbar? I, don't, I think like they have a chance to knock him out. Like, I guess after watching uh, what the hell did I watch? Um, what was the last card in December? Main event. Oh, what was it? Kamaru Usman and... Uh, Covington? Yeah, Colby Covington, yeah. Like, after watching that card, I noticed that um, when you try to fucking get him on a TKO, you know how they can just stop you? So maybe he tried to do a submission when he stopped him from getting a TKO. Mm. Right? 
I guess. Like, we used to bitch about that, but now I'm starting to understand why they go for the submission. Like, maybe he prevented himself from getting knocked out, so he tries to submit him instead, right? Oh, yeah. Stunned. So, I have a feeling... Looks I, I might, definitely got a 10-9. Absolutely. I may argue for a 10-8. Really? But I could... Yeah. Pascu did that bad for a 10-8. Well, I mean, I, I don't know if Pascu was doing bad, but I think Buckley was just doing great. Well, he's definitely showing uh, aggression and octagon control, that's for sure. Right, here we go. Fighters are engaging. And he's just getting his ass kicked even more. Not surprised. There you go, counter jab. Oh shit. There you go. Oh. Some great punches. Pascu falls. And he's just pounding away. And that's it. Joaquin Buckley wins it. Absolutely nobody saw this coming except our seven staff members. Exactly. <laughs> uh, of course, the name checked. American. Oh, he's from. Oh, he, he does American Top Team. Okay. Uh, he praises Pascu for a tough fight. Yeah, it's re really tough. Let me tell you. There's no doubt that Joe Keen Buckley uh, benefits from being interviewed. He knows the, the value of building name value. It's good. Khalil the Warhorse Round Rune Tree takes on the Turnernator. Please beat the Turnernator's ass. I'm tired of hearing that fucking name. Give him a reason not to say that fucking name ever again, dude. Looks to me like Turner is uh, kind of hesitant during this fight. Well, I'm trying to figure out why he would be. I mean, he has a he has a two inch height advantage. What is the reach advantage? Let me see here. Okay, he has 73, 74. Okay, so he has the one inch advantage. I don't, know, I don't understand. I'm trying to figure it out. I just I don't know. It's not working, man. I don't know. Maybe the mental game is done to the, the Terminator. Yeah, maybe he realized, holy shit, this guy's going to Turner Navy. me. And Turner gets the uh, takedown. He's already in half guard that fast. Right now, he's just, uh, this is just a neutral stand right now. On ground and pound, that's it. And, uh, I'd probably give it to Turner, yeah. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that. It's rune trees and a round tree. Rune trees not giving up. And a takedown attempt. Hopping on one leg. He's going to give him up against the cage, right? Yep. And that one worked. I mean, Turner's just way too dominant. Tree. There's no way. No way, man. It's impossible. I think Turner, this is a smart strategy for him. Scared, definitely scared to go at it with the war first on the feet. So why not take No, I absolutely agree. I mean, it looks like Turner's game is definitely... I... Oh, arm triangle. Oh, and round tree stops. Good job. Uh, yeah, definitely uh, take him down to the ground. I mean, oh, rear naked choke, and no. I mean, Roundtree is a mixed martial arts specialist. That's definitely a ten nine for Turner. And looks like we have City what the hell, uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is the other one. So that is why he's taking him to the ground. He specializes in AJ. 
Why you're seeing the ass in the lifetime. And the horse just came in Turner. And I don't know why the war horse is so confident with striking. And another takedown. He's probably going to be on the ground for the rest of this round again. I don't know. The war horse might have to catch Turner with a surprise submission. And to, and another TKO and, finish tonight. And big props to Turner. Absolutely. Just a show of respect to him. It's good. And it's time for the Honey Badger taking on Manny Vasquez in, his, in Vasquez's debut in Bellator. And, and the young Honey Badger's from New Kensington. It's only 20 minutes away from me. And Manny has already has 18 fights in his 26-year lifespan, so definitely, definitely looks like he has a bright career ahead of him. Well, we'll see if he can turn his winning record around. Um, my man's from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, which is basically where New Kensington is. My man's from Pittsburgh is 14-3. and three. That's a pretty nice winning percentage. Twelve and six isn't a bad eye, but no, especially in a in a young career like Manny's, that's expected to improve because he probably hasn't gotten to the peak of his career yet. He hasn't got to the peak of his potential. Yes, for sure. He has a three-inch height advantage, mm -hmm. but Dominic Mazzara is the elder, so. We'll see. Oh, already has already has Whoa, the has honey a cut? badger cut open. The honey badger. Oh, shit. And these guys are just pounding away on each other. Both guys eager to prove that they deserve something here in Bellator. And I'm surprised that Vasquez is uh, standing up with the Honey Badger because he is a predomin he's predominantly known for his wrestling ability. But as you can remember, uh, Dominic Mazzotta is known for multiple backgrounds as he is just trained in yeah. MMA. So it's, I guess it's better to all trades and be ready for anything. Oh, the two are now, now Vasquez is cut open. This is a bloodbath and it looks like a lot of fans wish this fight was on the main card. Honest, I don't know who's fight. Pretty close. Oh, there you go. I think the ending exchange is going to decide the. Oh, yeah, and around. another two quick, and then another one. Holy shit! They're going at it. Someone's going to fall. I'm going to have to give that to Vasquez because yeah, Vasquez just is for the. Good. Just, just for the ending sequence. Here we go. The cut man's trying to stop the cuts for both of them. This is nuts. This is just, this is just constant back and forth shit right now. Second round, already halfway through. Left hand. Seems like Mazzotto is starting to run away. A powerful the... straight right, Mazzotto hits the mat. Oh my goodness. This could be Mazzotto's career. And that's it, Vez wins his debut. Huge win for Manny. What a fucking fantastic fight. Big, big props. We might have to give Manny some kind of bonus. That is crazy. What a... What a... 
See, I'm, I, I want to give both of these guys a bonus just for fucking each other. And Man. especially the, and especially a good, great win for the young Vasquez, proving himself here tonight. Vasquez thanks his sponsors and all of his fans. Uh, asked him wants to fight next. He said, he'll fight whoever he's in front of him. He wants to fight Amir Albazi. Well, I think after a performance we like try this, we might have to that to you, buddy. Especially after a performance like that. Oh, man, he deserves it. He's got potential. And it looks like, here we go. The main portion of the show is here. It is Mike the Monster Favali. Favall, I think it's Favall. Favall, but he's going to be taking on Sian Kong Rat. I don't know how you say that. Uh, say that? Yeah, I'd say Rat. Anyway, I'll be right back. I gotta go quick. Touch gloves out of respect. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I'm not really connecting with either one. They keep fucking missing. Hits the left hand. The jab has right hook block, and that is it. It looks like a rot wins the first round 10 9. Right cross got blocked. Not the best fight. I guess that kick to the body really messed him up. Oh, he missed it with a vicious right hand. Go right. Nope. Time's up in the second. All right, wins this round number two. Favall's going to have to finish. He wants to win here. Low kick on the legs. Left hook. Oh, man, I'm getting exhausted here. We're going to try to make it here. There we go. Trip takedown. Nope. Another trip takedown attempt. Nope. We're all looking for the takedown. This is crazy. 
They're both equal to each other here at the moment. I, I have to say, finally I got him on a takedown after like the sixth attempt. I have to say, I think we probably should have switched around the previous white for this one. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say, have you been watching this? This is boring as fuck. At least we're in the final round. Yeah, finally, we've got some action. That's it. Uh, Favol's gonna lose. And it was still early this round. Are you serious? Favol got that. Uh oh. Split decision? Yeah, right. One. I was gonna say. Don't fucking. What was the first judge even on? I. Whatever, at least uh, the winner died. Right. Won his Bellator debut. Welcome to the team. And what did this fight get? A good uh, average. Hmm. Well, Matador Sanchez takes Juan, the Spaniard Archuleta. Argoliato's reffing again. Powerful straight right already by Archuleta. Oh my god. In 15 seconds. 17 seconds. Oh my goodness. Third, and the wrestler wins by knockout. First round. Archuleta gives his home crowd a show in that amount of time. But the records are coming in. Chuck Liddell still holds the record for fastest knockout. Much to Archuleta's dismay. He wants to fight Pat Curran. I think he, he said he is ready for the title. After that performance, I have no reason why to argue that. Yeah. I don't know. I can't think of why not. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, and Jake Hager. Here's one of the fights we've been waiting for. James the Juggernaut Moharan takes on Jake Hager. The, the slight favorite. Jake Hager said he's already going to retire. I'm like, what the fuck was the point? Eve Levine will wrap this fight. Jake Hager, the former All American wrestler. No. Touch gloves. Hager coming. Ooh. Takedown already okay. within eight seconds. What a takedown. Inside control. He's already in a mount. A rear naked choke. Oh. And they're back on their feet, it looks like. Hager coming in with another takedown, and look at that. He is just way too strong for Mulherin. I probably could have guessed that was going to happen in this fight. Mulherin just cannot stop Hager. And yes, I definitely give that Hager ten nine. Yeah. Oh, he hits Hager with a straight right. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. Well, Heron's taking it back to him. Grunting right hook, and uh, he just took three power punches. And he just did a desperate takedown. That was a desperation takedown there, you'd have to say. But that does probably get some points back from the judges, you have to think. Yeah, I mean, he just literally got peppered in the face three times in a row there. I mean, that, that will cost you. Uh, I'm talking about that will cost you in the health department, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's going to make you a little weak on the jaw next time he fucking hits you there. 
He has to. He has to do a Kobe Covington. Uh, well, he he can't do a Kobe Covington did, and that's keep his goddamn mouth open when he's about to get punched. That was probably the dumbest thing I think I've ever seen a fighter do. Mm -hmm. He opened his mouth wide open, and when fucking Kamaru hit his damn jaw, he like broke it. Second round was a little bit more even, but I would give it to Hager. Yes. I mean, I've never seen a guy finish a fight with a broken jaw, though. Hmm. Tiger on top of him again? Yes. Already? Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. He's going to get a mount? Can't quite manage to get both hooks in. And it looks like Hager. Let's see what this. Yep. Hager went All right. in his decision, making him 3 and 0. Oh. Very nice job. He wants Urat. All right. Very interesting career that Jake Hager is taking so far. Now we have Joe Schilling taking on Shlomenko. This is supposed to be a great fight. Both Muay Thai fighters. So expect a lot of elbows and knees in this one. And a lot of clinch game, too. A lot of leg kicks so far. Sure is. Schilling just has balls right now. And the big shit. right. He's the underdog, but he doesn't give a shit. Here we go, leg kick by Shemenko. Now, see, people, usually fans think leg kicks ain't that powerful. Believe me. That shit. Sucks. Especially on the thigh. On the thigh, on your shin, it doesn't fucking matter. That shit sucks. Like, I mean, like, whenever in my MMA class, whenever I have the fucking uh, pad on my leg, you could still feel that bitch hit you in the leg, man. Those guys have a bunch of experience. I mean, they kick so hard. That when they kick, they're kicking through the pad and hits your fucking leg. I'm going to have to give that to Schilling. So, I couldn't imagine dealing with that shit in an actual fight. I just couldn't. There's no way. I don't know how. Oh, shit. Oh, and those, those leg strikes are starting to take their effect on Schilling as he is limping. And that is usually the reason why you leg kick in the first place. You, know, you, want, you want to take the base right off of your opponent. What? what yeah, Shalanko was rock. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Imagine the upset it would be if Schilling managed to beat Shalanko. I mean, it looks like he's about to win on decision, right? Mm-hmm. But I imagine Shlomenko has a plan to finish off Schilling. We'll see. He's trying to get aggressive here. There we go. And a TKO by Joe Schilling. Imagine that. He praises Shemenko for the skill and toughness. 
and he's a marketable fighter. Well, I mean, I think Schilling had a four inch height advantage, so that probably. And here we are at the main event. And it looks like Jesus is going to get his ass beat. But you never know, right? Anything can happen. Like. I mean, yeah, Chuck, Chuck Liddell. Chuck Liddell's yeah. ass. But, you know. Ooh, McDonald not touching gloves. You fuck. No respect for Michael Shiza. He, he has no respect for Shiza. Another uh, half guard. And she's uh, just getting dominated with the takedowns. Ten nine McDonald. I might even argue ten eight, just because of those takedowns. If I were Shisa, I'd try to take, keep this on the feet as long as possible, and I'd get, start Moron, getting aggressive. More and that's it. Well, I guess that's it. Two rounds. Rory McDonald def defends his championship with a Kimura. Good rated fight. He says he has a lot of respect. Yeah, you didn't show that to be a fucking fight. And popularity increase all oh, around. That's, that's some nice increases. And let's give those. We are giving performance points. bonuses to Vasquez and Mazzotti. Mazzotta. Mm -hmm. And maybe fight of the night. Nah, fight of the night was definitely. Eh, you know what? Can a preliminary have fight of the night? I I don't see any reason why. Sure. We'll do. So they're gonna get ten thousand dollar bonuses tonight. They sure are. We made one and a half million dollars. I will take that. All right. All we do is make profit. Watch out, like, Roy like, all the drugs. This damn game takes forever. So do you want to call the episode there? Yep, we are. As soon as this loading screen is over. Yeah, because I have school tomorrow. Sucks for you. Wait. Yep. Oh, it's Thursday. Okay, I was about to say, I thought it was going to be Friday tomorrow. I'm like, oh my god. I don't know they make you come in for two days. <laughs> yep. Might as well just wait till Monday for a full five day fucking, I don't know. Well, I mean, even if they did have us come in for just come in starting Monday, we'd get a four day run. Nah, I get it. Just 
wait on this bullshit. So we look at Timothy Johnson. I think we have him, and then we... No, we, we still have him. And I think he's doing terribly. Yeah. Oh, Rousey. Rousey fighting. Logan Paul got booked that damn quick. <laughs> no, suck my ass. Fuck you, one. Okay. I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you for tuning Oh, and remember, Rousey's is fighting. Please let me know. Any ideas for a match card or the roster we have now, also let me know. Thank you very much. This is RBM. And, uh, Bye. And goodbye, everybody.